Yeah, I know Regis is gonna send me off to do something else, so. Having some trouble there, girl? Falling down the stairs and shit? Oh, there's Regis. I didn't actually get to loot this place before, so. I'm gonna go around and do that. More royal lineage biography of the vampire Regis from the Quill of Dandelion. During my numerous adventures, the Geralt's side was a vampire known as Regis, to be precise, who was known as Emil Regis. By his own reckoning, he was 428 years old and was the descendant of unfortunate beings trapped in our world during the conjunction of spheres. Human life dearly and refused to kill unless forced to do so. As he confessed, higher vampires do not, in fact, need to drink blood at all in order to survive. They treat it as somewhat as sweet as we treat alcohol. It's a rural surgeon reeking of herbs. That is how he became to us during our first encounter at the Fencar Necropolis, where he treated me and my companions to fantastic brew he made from mandrake root. Wherever you are, my friend, bottoms up. Wait, what? Arcadius Borovic lived to a ripe old age. In fact, he lived so long he died of boredom. Okay. Okay, Regis. Did you get what you needed? Think your friend's hand will make for a nice broth? Hmm. You've clearly honed your sense of humor. But we are not cannibals, Geralt. I took a fragment of tissue from the hand. It will suffice to prepare some resonance. What did you do with the rest? I cremated it, as our codex commands. A raven told me you'd acquired the necessary ingredient. Spying on me? Send your spies after me. My watchers. Were something to go wrong? I could then arrive quickly to help. Managed fine alone, but thanks for the thought. Gonna need much longer to finish brewing resonance? Mentioned the last ingredient, too. What about that? that Skeletons wearing a hat in the background. Awesome. You see, to use the concoction to summon the memories of one, the solution must contain the blood of another specimen of the same species. Shouldn't be a problem. I happen to know a higher vampire who should be willing to help. Right, Regis? It's not... That simple, I'm afraid. While you were away, I tried my damnedest to identify a replacement, but alas, none such exists. Not sure I understand what the problem is. Can't we just draw some of your blood? The blood must be in an agitated state. As I'm certain you know, higher vampires can change their corporeal shell. As our flesh changes, so does our blood's chemical composition. To make a long story short, I shall need to induce in myself a state of strong psychokinetic arousal. In brief, madness, rabidity. And that stands to be very, very dangerous. So he needs to transform into his bat form. Dangerous? Why? I mean, you'll still be you, right? True. But I should be highly agitated, in a state of fury. You know better than I that fury cannot be controlled. If you've ever seen an enraged vampire, you know very well that all who find themselves nearby will be in grave danger. How will we handle that? I'd rather not have you lunge at me, claws extended. That makes two of us. But worry not. I've thought it through very thoroughly. Details to follow soon. How do you plan on it? Alright, so what do you want to do? We shall visit Tesha Mudna, an ancient vampire estate. There, we will find cages suspended in the air. I will enter one, be confined. You will lure beasts there. Beasts you will then kill. The bloodletting should prove profuse. Abundant enough so that the blood scent will drive me mad. Wild. In this place, tell me more. Tashamudna. What's it like? It is a place of torment. A torture chamber. Long ago, 
shortly after we'd arrived in this world. One among us named Kaugmar developed such a taste and lust for human blood that in one night he could imbibe an entire village. This brought trouble on the entire species. Common folk wearied quickly of living in constant fear. They began to hunt us, seek the aid of mages and witches in tracking us down. So what? Not like they could ever hope to kill you. But they were bothersome. Forgive the comparison, but when did you last enjoy mosquitoes buzzing around your head? <laughs> In any case, the other vampires decided something had to be done. Kagmar had to be caught and punished. A torture chamber was thus outfitted in the dungeons of Teshem Mutna. Inside it, a cage made entirely of a special alloy of silver, dalvinite, and meteorite steel. Kagmar was captured and locked in the cage. Sat there over two centuries, driven to fury time after time, never able to escape. Thus I know the cage will withstand the fury to which we shall drive my humble being. Well then, let's go. See no reason to dawdle. Tesham Mutna, take me there. In a moment. Just one last thing. You gonna say something, or...? What was that? Uh, blood. Oh, the last favor the raven did me. I've also taken some Sangurium, a solution that sharpens one's sense of smell. One drop of blood shall smell like a gallon to me now. You crazy? You're a <laughs> recovering addict. Your outrage warms my heart, Geralt. But you must remain calm. I have no choice. As things stand, the die is cast. <sighs> High time we set off for Tesh and Mutna. My head's... Spinning already, and you're... You're starting to smell quite tasty. And you're starting to scare <laughs> me. Sometime later at Tesham Mutna. That was Tesham Mutna, not Tesham. I like this cinematic camera view right now. We have arrived. The sacrificial chamber of torture and torment lies underground. Sure you want to do this? Sure you know what you're doing. I can only hope I do. Please, let's go. The longer we delay, the less control I shall have of my faculties. I'd really prefer not to hurt you. If I let you hurt me, huh, two minutes later I die. There's already a dead man. Scurvers must be getting close to their feeding ground. Correct. I told you there'd be danger. Beyond this wall lies an ancient vampire dungeon. Seen a lot of things in my time. Nothing quite like this, though. My, I feel honored. A man with such a wealth of experience, yet I'm about to show him something new. Now, to open it. Follow Regis. What the hell? It's an ancient form of protection against unwanted guests. The mechanism which releases the latch reacts only to a higher vampire's blood. Tricky mechanisms, a vampire hideout. Fortified, secured. Must have been important to your species once, Toussaint. It shall always be so. During the conjunction, the gate from our world into this one opened upon this land and no other. This was the first place we saw. Victim's been disemboweled, intestines ripped clear out. Scurvers have not on this corpse, repeatedly. Human husbandry and care. I did not Human read. Husbandry and care. This for real? The author observed humans, their behavior. Champion the of Tesham Mutna. He serves the tribe. I am master and slave. I execution over the will of the tribe. I accept the sword and this armor so I may serve the tribe. I. 
didn't I clicked through it so fast I didn't even realize what armor I got. Or what sword I got. Killing opponents restores vitality. The amount of vitality restored equals 1% of maximum vitality for each element of the set worn. Currently that amount is zero. Okay. Oh, so this is a full set of stuff. What does it look like? Oh, it's just black armor. Two twenty eight out of two thirty. I'm gonna have to drop some stuff in a bit. Let's just repair everything first. Okay. This place. There's evil here. Death hangs in the air. Yes. A great many beings have breathed their last here. This looks like this. Okay. Why does Garrett always fall down the stairs? Cliffs are carved into the rock. Covered with blood used to be. They mean something? They're emblems. Symbols of. I can't examine it. What you would call tribes dispersed Ooh. throughout the world after the conjunction. My answer battery cage versus free range humans. Remind us all where we came from. Tesham Mutna boots, Tesham Mutna mask. A peculiar little library. Tesham Mutna mask. I want to see what that looks like. Come on, load. Oh, it's right there. Do I have to wear all of this? Come on. Oh my god, this thing is so annoying. It's just a black mask. Probably gonna have to wear some of this stuff. What's the true? Oh, I have the Goliath trophy equipped right now. You know what? Equip the white trophy. Couldn't save her, so I'm gonna carry around her head. Though I personally did not lay a hand to it. Talking about your library. Cells. Who for? Ah. Disgraceful. Excruciating to so this particular page from my history. I'd rather not summon the demons of the past if it's all right with you. And this one? Which tribe's this? Garisham. My tribe and Deadlands. We both remained in this part of the world. Okay. What's but this, this one? symbol mean? It's the symbol of the Tadet. Those who went east beyond the Blue Mountains. Learning all about vampires. Another spoon. Try and skip to have a conversation with the lower being. Who are you? My name is Alex Biscont. Why is your skin dribbling? I'm scared, sir. You're scared. I don't understand. You don't know what fear is, sir? No, I haven't mastered your language yet. Some concepts are beyond me. What is fear? Feeling that destroys every other feeling, controls your head. What do you mean? I thought it was a kind of pain. I've carried out tests in my laboratory on people, and I discovered that a mother subject to appropriate stimuli is able to forget about her child and think only about how to avoid pain, so fear would be similar to pain. No, pain rules the body, but fear is born in the heart. Oh, yes, what you say is very interesting. I think I'll have to examine your heart in the laboratory. What do you mean? I mean, examine. Take it out and subject it to a proper examination. But, sir, that would kill me. Yes, your mortality is a great inconvenience, but it was not me who created your species, and I am not responsible for its excessive frailty. Transcription does not need translation. Deshamutna gauntlets, and I'm overburdened. 
Awesome. I gotta get rid of one of these. That weighs a lot. We'll get rid of that. And I think I have enough points. Yeah, I do. I don't have three greater red mutagens, though. Fuck. I have enough for blue, but I don't want that right now. Yeah, I'm going to need it anyway, so... Might as well. Okay. Well, this doesn't look creepy at all. I was going to make the joke, this is where all the vampires come to hang because there was a bunch of hanging skeletons, but then Geralt fell down the stairs before, so I forgot about it until now. Charming place. But what are all those cages for? mentioned one vampire being kept here. Yes, well, you see, humanitarians is something my ancestors were not. They concluded Kagmar would best be punished if he were tormented with the scent of blood he could not taste. Thus, they also kept humans here. Humans whose blood they slowly let. Kagmar ranted and raged in pain as those, those humans slowly bled to death. They treated them like livestock. Live bait. I'd like to be able to turn back time. Deny it, but alas, I can do neither. Feel shame for my brethren. His strap for his all I can do. bag is going so into hard. his uh, shoulder. Could have done about it. Let's get to work. Well, that was awkward. Fine. I prepared the bait. Please be so kind and place it. Ideally, at the tunnel entrances. The zen will spread most effectively then. Can I search anything? Bait at the tunnel entrances. Monsters will catch and send more quickly. When I think how these tunnels got here, send shivers. It was the natural order of okay. things. The place reeked of death and it attracted necrophages. This all doesn't look like anything special. Oh, what? I don't know what that is. I don't think anything special happens if I Can I can I place the bait? Can I place the bait? What do I what do I have to do? Okay. Should I put on the Tesha Mukna stuff? I'm gonna save first. You know what? I'll, I will put on the armor set just to see what it looks like. And the sword is part of it, so. Because there wasn't a steel sword, so. There you go, that's all six. Mm. 
We'll see how that works. Or if that does anything different or something. Because it's a quest item, so... Tell Regis when you're ready to fight. Bait set. What now? I shall enter the cage. You must chain me inside. The bars are made of an alloy that will prevent me from transforming into mist. Kinda thought you wouldn't want to. I should be in great pain. My sole thought being to stop that pain. I cannot know what I will do. You're already starting to sound a little pissed. Uh, we must hurry. The beasts have caught the scent of us on my head. I started spinning. Is that the blood? Uh, someone who's never experienced an unclassed bloodlust does not know the true meaning of thirst. Maybe we need a safe word. Kill monsters there's something you'll say. I can't take it anymore. And what? Did you see me when I hunted it? Don't know. Oh god, it's exposed words. Somehow. Please. You won't be able to. We must forge through this. That's it. Come on. Stop doing that. Mm -hmm. just smell the fire. Okay, where's the next one? Oh, they're all exploding. Ooh, this one's a vampire. Why did it explode just now? Get out of the way. Hold on, I'll let you out. I think that's an echidna. Or Ekamara, not an echidna. Echidna is what Knuckles is. God damn it. Don't let him out, we'll just... You need his blood. Need to hang on a little longer. Blood will dry in a few hours. Scent won't bother me anymore. So I'm just gonna go to sleep right in front of you. Hours later. The concoction. He's going to have one hell of a hangover. Tell me how. I'll help you. from ideal and some time must pass before I fully recover but yes a bit better thank you let's talk about what happened it to be like that. you got way too drunk tell me 
We need not discuss it. But we do. Because if I'd known you were going to subject yourself to torture... What would you have done? Found Detloff some other way. I did not wish you to use any other way. Did that occur to you? No, because I thought no being would ever willingly subject itself to that kind of pain. You vampires aren't any different from us in that regard. I told you. The pain is my way of paying my debt. The enormous debt I owe Detloff. If I had to do it again, I would, in a heartbeat. Steve's done. It's ready. Are you certain you followed the formula? The proportions were exact, the brewing time precise. This is important, Geralt. The slightest deviation could cost even a witcher dearly. Relax. Got some experience brewing potions. Very well. In that case, let's begin. I need to put back on all my uh, Grandmaster Ursine armor, though. Carol's gonna go back to sleep again. Yep. Oh, his eyes were blocked by the mask. <laughs> Take a moment. You jump the queue, sir. But Count, sir, you must understand. I have a meeting. The Count. Sir, you were next. Please take a seat. This gentleman was here first. Step down, or you shall regret it. Ah, <laughs> fails to realize he was your friend, Count. <laughs> Just the slightest bit of anger got him. It was then I ordered him to give up his seat and step off the step. If only you'd seen his face. We got him good, didn't we, Detlav? I don't know what that letter said. And then Mother insisted we buy the mill. <laughs> Curious, eh? You make good friends with this person real fast over shoe shining. I didn't realize Detlef had a moth brooch. But at he didn't least have that I when I saw him. to spin for friends and associates. Forgive me. Oh, he's gonna kill him. What? <laughs> That's why his hand was cut off. And now he has no friend. That's really sad, actually. like a squirrel caught in a snare. I'd begun to fear they were death throes, that you'd departed. <clears throat> uh, uh, sure wasn't pleasant, but it worked. What did you see? Delacroix. His death did not come easy. Seems dead laugh had made friends with him, still killed him, chopped up his corpse, and he was overcome with fury, remorse. Cut off the hand that had committed the murder. 
I really want to take off that mask now. And entirely unlike the Detlef I know. See anything else? Saw the moment that they first met. Saw a moment. Delacroix did something selfless. Was kind to Detlef. Guess it could have been the start of their friendship. Why the uncertainty? Nothing extraordinary about it. Normal everyday situation, really. Visions were supposed to issue from strong emotions. Clearly, the situation provoked such emotions in Detlef. Keep in mind, he did later murder Delacroix. Killing someone who's grown dear to us, it's bound to elicit strong emotion. Vampires are no different in that regard. Did you see anything else? Well, yeah, he, first off, he was really mad, and then, the, then Delacroix so, showed him a kindness that he hadn't been shown before, so. There was something. Showed up twice in the vision. A boot black stand. Detlaf first met Delacroix there. Went back after the murder, actually. Peculiar. Stand was somewhere in the port district. And the boot black acted as if he knew Detlaf. Hmm. That would be even odder. Perhaps we should have a chat with the lad. Though I would expect no breakthroughs. It's our only lead. I'll go talk to him. Coming with. I shall join you later if it's no trouble. I don't yet feel strong enough to venture out. That's fair. Rest up. Be back as soon as I learn anything. Sounds good. Find the boot black who appeared in the vision. Where children toil, toys waste away. 